Hello and welcome to section 4.5 where we're looking at modeling with power functions. Uh, specifically we're going to look at uh, proportions which are a really common thing in everyday life. I mean you, you hear when, whenever people are talking about prices of things or numbers of things like the, the this is proportional to the that and we're going to look at um, how to deal with this kind of language and how to uh, convert it into algebra and actually solve some equations and, and get some hard numbers from this this kind of language. So um, so we talked about proportions in section 1.5 uh, and this was the the basic definition of a proportion. We say if y is directly proportional or simply just proportional to x then there is some constant k so that y is always equal to k times x. Um, and it might be y equals 3x would be a direct proportion, or y equals 0 0.2 times x. As long as it's y equals a number times x, then you're talking about a direct proportion. So let's look at example 1 here. Um, if y is proportional to x, and y is 15 when x is 9, let's find y when x is 15. So, when, first of all, when we say y is proportional to x, that means the equation that relates y and x is going to look something like y equals k times x, but uh, we can't really answer the question here, like how to find y when x equals 15, just based on this because because we don't know what k is. So you got to find k in order to really get the equation that relates y and x. So we don't have these three variables involved. We don't want the k to be like a variable. k is just some number that we got to find. So to find it, um, we're going to plug in the values that we've got here. Um, I'm going to replace this y with 15, and that's going to be equal to k times x. That means k times 9 here. So we've got 15 equals k times 9, and this gives you an equation you can solve to find the k. So I'm going to divide both sides by 9 to get the k by itself, and uh, 15 divided by 9 is going to be 5 thirds. And you reduce a 3 from both sides of that fraction. So that means the equation is really going to be y equals 5 thirds times x. And if you wanted to check this, you could plug in x equals 9 and make sure that the y that you get is 15, and that should work. Um, but now to actually go ahead with this and answer the question, uh, I'm going to replace the x with 15 here to then find y. And 15 is really 15 over 1, so you could write it that way, and reduce a factor of 3 from both sides here. Uh, so you end up with 5 times 5 in the top over 1, which is just 25 over 1. So that just gives you y equals 25. And so that answers the question. Um, so that's a basic kind of proportion problem. Now you've got an exercise. Uh, I'm combining the examples and the exercises in this video because they're one right after another. Uh, this exercise is very similar to example one. So if you were able to follow what I was doing, you should be able to do this yourself here. Uh, and I will let you do that now. So here's your place to pause it and try it yourself and I'll show you the answers after I stop whistling. Okay, so now that you've tried it yourself, uh, let's check your answers here. So it says that y is directly proportional to x. 
So that means we have y equals kx, but the k we still don't know. So I'm going to plug in 12 for y and plug in 10 for x. Divide both sides by 10. And that's going to give you k equals 1.2, because 12 divided by 10 is 1.2. And that means the equation now is going to be y equals 1.2x. And you can use that to find y when x is 1. We're just going to replace the x here with 1, and you'll get y equals 1.2 times 1, which is just 1. So, yeah, it turns out that with any uh, direct proportion like this, or just proportion, whatever the constant of proportionality is, the, the k, that's what y is going to be when x is 1, because you're just going to do that k times 1 here. Um, did I just put a box around y equals 1.2? I mean, just around 1. It's supposed to be 1.2. Yeah, so the k is 1.2, and that's what we got. Um, sorry if that was confusing for a moment, uh, but uh, moving on. Uh, as x increases, does y increase or decrease? Well, uh, this is a, if you're going to graph y equals 1.2x, one way to see what this would look like is that you'd have uh, when x is 0, y would be 0. When x is 1, y would be 1.2. If x is 2, y would be 2.4, be up here. We're talking about a line with slope uh, 2.4. So that's one way to answer this question. Um, sorry, it's slope 1.2. I'm a little tired today, sorry about that. S the slope is... And because that 1.2 is a positive number, you can see on the graph that y is increasing as x increases. You could also make a little table like so, and that you can see as x increases, the values of y increase too. So, That is the end of this video. Next, we're going to look at inverse proportions in the next video.